Like anything else that wears out over time, this building um, has just really outlived its useful life. There are a number of issues that we're not just talking maintenance issues anymore, we're really starting to talk about health and safety issues here. The new building is essential because quite frankly the building we're operating in now is just out of date and antiquated and has reached that point where it no longer makes sense to continue investing, uh, putting band-aids on this building. We are there to certainly serve the public trust and, and they should expect that we do that in the most efficient way possible. We are not able to do that in the current building. Proposition E is to um, purchase property on Dealman on North Dealman near the Walgreens and to build a new municipal facility. In total, the, 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 the solution we've come up with, the size of the building, the location of the building, seem to solve all the problems. The standards of this building are complete failure. We've outgrown the building and no matter where you look, every room in the building is used for some other purpose than what the original purpose of the room was. Uh, every room has storage in it. The biggest impact with this building would be the space. Um, the fire truck and ambulance park approximately three and a half feet apart. So when there's a call for service, when they come down to put their firefighter gear on, they're actually running into each other and, and they have to stage themselves to get dressed in the gear. I know the difference firsthand of, of what a bigger facility can can give you. We got dressed faster and we got out the door faster. We have brought in an ambulance service which was not here four years ago and while we're doing this with the building from 1950 we're, gr we're growing inside of a restrictive structure. Because of the lack of space that leads to other things uh, such as the, the booking room where we process prisoners is extremely dangerous. We do not have the proper areas um, in the locker room to store the officer's bulletproof vest. We do not have the proper areas for our information technology. Are we functioning? Yes, we're functioning, but are we functioning at a level of efficiency or a level of standard that the contemporary police department is functioning in? Absolutely not. What I have found is probably the most uh, difficult challenge is to train. And so training is the foundation for all of our success that we have. Um, and when you can't train the way that you need to, uh, because you're limited on your space, it, it just affects what you can do. The, the trucks are having to be modified for the building instead of modified for the city of Olivet. Olivet is a growing community and we need to be able to grow with that community. All you have to do is come and tour the facility and see what conditions they're living in and staying in, working in. And I think that that will help people understand the need for these new facilities. This, this is an opportunity for the community to give back to these guys who have given so much to the community. When they, when they go into that ballot bo box and they vote, that what they're doing is um, really looking at you know, the future of Olivet. When you say Olivet, what do you see? You know, what's, it, what's the picture in your, in your mind when you say, talk about the city of Olivet? And what could that picture be? I want them to think about what that picture could be. We need to invest in, in what's next, and we need to be able to provide a high level of service for the future and, and what we have now, it just, it can't take us where we need to go. I'm the city manager here in Olivet and I want to encourage you all to think about what do you see in your mind when you think Olivet and you think the city of Olivet. I think the Proppy gives us a vision and gives us something to work towards. I'm going to strongly encourage each and every one of you to get informed and to get out and vote.